Sign the confession and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. Wow. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now. Some to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this. Even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time. And someone has to take the fall. Goodbye. Take him back to his cell. I'm gonna kill you. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. If you say so. Alright. Nom nom nom. Delicioso. Anonymous message. Corvo, who we are is irrelevant right now. Just know that we have faith in you. Here's the key to your cell. Once you're out, head for the prison's interrogation room. Take the explosive there and plant it on the outer door. When the bomb goes off, run. Make for the river and lose yourself in the sewers. You'll find some useful gear stashed there. One of the prison guards will leave a weapon just outside your cell. And good luck. We need you alive and well for what's to come. A friend. I don't know who gave me that letter. Or this key. Or that bread for that matter. But you know, if they were friends of mine, you know, you'd, you'd think they could spring for something a little better than bread. If they can afford to break me out of jail, I think they can afford a sandwich. Just saying. Ah. Uh, the City Watch song. With the sword in hand, assassinate an unaware enemy by pressing left mouse button or approach an unaware enemy from behind and hold thumb mouse button 2 to perform a non-lethal takedown. Using stealth in the non-lethal approach has benefits. Fewer rats and weepers, we'll figure out what those are later. Some people react favorably. And the final outcome is not as dark. It's on account of Corvo, the one who killed the Empress. And okay, so I can take him out now. But then they'd see me. So it's an occasion. Right. A social event for the high and mighty. Come see the noble Lord Protector get his head chopped off. Not as bad as us betting on the dog fights. Alright, I might just kill this one, because I don't like dog fights. Attention. Shh. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, it's okay. Unless accompanied by We're off on an adventure. Escort through the solitary. We're gonna put him in here, so if they see, like, some legs behind the, the, the boxes, they're like, oh, he just passed out. He's good. There we go. I'm gonna kill that one, though. I said I was gonna kill you. I'm, I'm not gonna because I have a good heart. Attention! Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the. I don't know who hired you guys, but you guys seem really awful at your job. I mean, I just took out two of your. I just took out two of three, and the third one is still completely unaware. Look at him. He doesn't have a cat. He doesn't even have a care in the world. Rises early in the morning. <laughs> what do you do with a drunken whaler? What do you do with a drunken whaler? What do you do with a drunken whaler early in the morning? Alright, I'm not even gonna just. We're gonna. 
You're not dead, are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you gotta check his pulse after that. Did you hear that noise he made once he hit the ground? Attention. The solitary no, wing here. I never did nothing. She lied. Unless accompanied by right, because I'm gonna believe wall. someone with the name Escort Thug. <laughs> I was not born yesterday, sir. One week's notice. No inmates beyond this point, huh? Yeah, what do you think about that sign? One pistol. Or, yeah, one pistol. I mean one bullet. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. Some brined whale. What was that? I think that was jelly eel I just ate. Never had eel, but I feel like anything that isn't jelly, when it's jellied, like berry jelly, it's it's not gonna be good. It just spells disaster, especially if it's in a can. A tin of potted whale meat and health elixir. Ooh, more bullets. But you know, you, won't, you if you noticed. I only picked up, like, one bullet per gun. So whoever's in charge of the armory really needs to, like, get their stuff together, because who loads a gun with one bullet? I think some of them might have noticed that they're going missing. He has the key. Well, my key now. We're just gonna sit you up right comfortably against the there we go. Slumped over his workstation. What a good worker. They're gonna come in and give this guy a raise. They're gonna be like, man, he is so persistent. He was working, but fell asleep at his work desk. They're gonna t come in and tuck him in and everything. Give him a little goodnight kiss. It's gonna be beautiful. Accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance. I wish there was a way I could lock this behind me. That'd be that make a little a couple things easier. But uh, you know, that's cool. <gasps> Did not see you. Shh, shh. Come here, come here, come here, come here. No, no, no. We don't. You don't. There's nothing to see back there. Come on. You know, I honestly don't think there's anybody around that could see or hear me walking. But, uh... I'm not gonna take my chances. I'm probably just gonna... Probably just gonna keep, like, crouching. Just to be safe. Order shall prevail. Attention. Tomorrow's execution will be restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. You know these guys are the bad guys, because... For one, they have a huge bust of themselves over their doorway. And two, they have huge flowing red banners. Come on, nobody has huge flowing red banners in their houses. Or places of business. Unless they're evil. It's kind of a telltale sign, so if you see something like that at your friend's house, you should probably uh, maybe reconsider your friendship. That's all I'm saying. And another thing, if you if they have a big old portrait of themselves over their workplace or in their place of work or like at home, that's another telltale sign. You just run by this point, because they're probably planning something evil. But I digress. I digress. <laughs> And a duty officer's report. Duty officer's report. Corvo's interrogation. Corvo Atano, formerly the royal protector, will be brought in for interrogation. This is of the utmost importance. The Lord Regent and High Overseer Campbell will conduct the questioning themselves, follow their orders without hesitation, and keep the torturer under control. If Corvo dies in his hands, instead of getting the public execution that the Lord Regent wants, it'll be your head that rolls next. Yeah... Anyways, Ooh. 
money, 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 I love money, money, money. But you know what I love more than money? A nice pot of tinned whale flesh. And the Trials of Aptitude. An excerpt from the book from a book on the esoteric practices of the Abbey. Once a child shows the proper inclination, he is marked. Overseers are assigned to study the subject surreptitiously in order to determine whether this inclination is supported by cosmological conditions and uh, or and other blah, <laughs> and other signs ongoing throughout the year. At the end of the cycle, those befitting further testing are removed from their homes some hours before dawn and must begin the march to an outpost outside the city. There, the children undergo ritual preparation and evaluation until the last night until the last night of the month of rain, when they make a pilgrimage to Whitecliffe. During an elaborate ceremony, it is determined whether or determined which of the children will become overseers and which must be put down. So they're child killers on top of all this. Snow redeeming qualities, these people. Was that it? I'm not just being suspicious to make the gameplay more interesting. I, honest to God, thought I heard a door opening. Or am I being stupid and it was actually the safe, the noise the safe made? No! I knew it! It was him! Okay. So, by pressing Q or E, you can lean around corners. Yes, I know. I can't. I pressed F, or E trying to open the door after saying, yeah, I know, E is the button to lean. Then I just go ahead and press it. Oh, well. Alright, so I'm counting one, two. Alright, so that's just... So, I'm trying to figure out which order I take him out in. I guess whichever one That's walks in the shadows first, then. Oh, God! Plague. Elixir. Attention. Crap. The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance. Sir? Unless if you could... By an of the if wall. you wouldn't mind just turning around for about five to ten seconds, in and then just going back to your regular duties, I would appreciate that. Seems like these people have the same. A lot of the guards have the same complaints because that, that's the third time I've heard them complain about the stupid gosh darn somethings. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna. If you don't, yeah, we're just gonna leave you there. You just put your enemy off balance with perfect timing. No, I don't want to kill him. Nope. Why can't I sprint? Why am I? Ah, oh, shucks. Oh well. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, cats too quick. Oh. Listen, sir. I'm sure there are plenty of ways we can talk this over. You know, negotiate something. Uh, on guard. Ow! Dude, come on! Come on, it's like sword fighting rules 101. If someone's standing on a table, you have to go over there and, like, fight them while they're on the table. It's more cinematic, it's more cool, and it's them rules. That's all I'm trying to say. Oh well. First blood times four. Back to sneaking. Wait, did I kill this? I think I might have drawn everybody out. The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crew. Yeah. Unless accompanied by an officer I'm, I'm of the pretty wall. sure I just drew everybody Every out. Oh well. Wing must be scheduled in advance with one week Ooh, snow. bullets, hagfish, and Sokolov's health elixir. Oh, <gasps> jelly deals! Trying to determine if those were my footsteps or someone else's. 
probably mine. More bullets, more money, jellied hagfish, and the lever. Now I know for a fact there's going to be one or two people back here. Two. Okay. <coughs> Sir, I'm going to need you to... Come on. Shh. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with this picture, sir. He just drank a little too much. Would you believe me if I said that? Oh, he didn't even come to investigate. He just looked over and was like, oh, that's odd. Oh, well. To be fair, though, that's kind of me after, like, five minutes until my break. When I'm at work and I just see something happen, I'm like, oh, that probably shouldn't be happening. Oh, well. Alright, so once you, once he starts walking that way again, I'm going to make my move. Yep. Oh, come on. Shh. Huh? Nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, you're fine. You're just tired. Where are you going, bud? Where are you, where are you going? Is he taking a leak? Or was he adjusting himself? You're not slick, pal. Charming fellow, ain't he? There we go. Thank you, sir. Your donation to the cause was much appreciated. Alright. First things first. Let's make sure nobody follows us once we close the door. Or, you know, blow open the door is what I meant to say. So, let's just hide in the trash can. Woo! Prison break! Hey, thug number one and two, follow me! They might be a little fo- Ooh! Oh! Nope! Ooh! Man, somebody's going to lose their- Ow! Somebody's going to lose their job over this. And might I add, you guys are really bad shots. I'm right here. Whoa! Where'd it go? Uh! Ah! Go, go, go! Yes! Go to sewers! It's not like I forgot my keys or anything that would keep me from staying back there with them. 